April 28, 2023. This is the S&P 500 eFutures Mini on the Ninja Trader 8 platform. This is what the chart looks like today. These are all the trades that I took. The blue is the entry and the red arrows are the exits. I'll go to, through each one. I boxed actual my actual trades and then I labeled the trades I also saw. Go down to the descriptions below, then you'll have to watch the entire video. You can just kind of see the timestamps of where I thought I saw trade setups and also where I took my trades. I took a total of five trades. I had uh, four winners and one loser. Uh, to my credit, uh, one of the, that trade that I lost on, I accidentally uh, clicked when I didn't mean to because I'm still getting used to the Ninja Trader platform. Where if you drop in an order, for example, if you drop in a stop order and you drag it up, I wasn't familiar with how it actually works. And uh, it ended up entering on a trade that I didn't intend to take yet. So I'll go through that later. Let's see, I'm going to just go ahead and cancel this. I'm not sure why I didn't cancel. Kind of weird. Oh, okay, cool. So I'll go into the trades. The overall market sentiment today was pretty much a rally. It's a slow rally. It wasn't a very apparent at first that it was kind of a strong rally that went up, but I did see these smaller trading channels that went up. It looked like it was two gigantic legs up, a pullback and a subsequent leg up, and then kind of a consolidation area. If you look at the trade, trading day before, it looked like it was also a pretty big rally up. So it looked like it was just a continuation rally. So I'm gonna go ahead and go into the trades now. I apologize, I'm still getting used to this platform. So it's a little, I'm a little clunky and not that good with it. This is pre-market hours. It's all great. I saw this trend down. I didn't quite see a setup that I like. That's okay, because I wasn't trading during that time anyways. So I did see right before the market opened, it made a new high first entry long right here in the second entry long. I thought this was a pretty decent setup, but I it's just kind of the very first minute because it's a good bounce off of this trend channel, which I did have established from the pre-market. So I saw it kind of touched about three times solidly, maybe a fourth, and then here it broke out bounced off the EMA and closed a pretty good signal bar, but it set, felt a little congested right here. And it's also right at the open, which can be super volatile because it's on the very first minute. So even though I, you know, I started looking at the markets around, right around six o'clock, which would be about right here. I saw this setup, but I wasn't ready to take it. I just felt it was, you know, a little bit early in the day to try to try to jump in on a trade too soon. Price continue moving up. This channel doesn't exist yet. It comes in later, and I was playing with a lot of intermediate channels at the time because I thought perhaps it was something like this. And then I kept adjusting it, kept adjusting it. It was kind of a, I wouldn't say a tricky day, but it was kind of a slow, not obvious at first, bullish trend. And then I did see a, okay, so it went from here, and EMA is still holding. It goes up. I do have this line established because I had this many touches. It broke through, but I, I like that it kind of, confirmed down here and this depending on how you drew it could have touched so it's i felt pretty safe that this was a channel made a new high first entry long i saw a second entry long here but what the problem with this was it wasn't a good signal bar because technically the second entry long is made here and this is the signal bar here i didn't feel that safe on it also looks like it was just maybe one leg because even though it's new high here first entry long this could also be just counted as one big leg going down so that kind of just Made, made me a little more cautious because it could look like something like this, just one leg down. So I just decided to sit and wait. I skipped that trade. Prices continue moving up. I don't see a really good entry until I get to about here. So it kind of breaks out of this channel. It moves out, breaks down solidly. Again, this trend channel doesn't exist yet. I saw a new low here, and then it goes up, makes a first entry short, comes all the way down, and it makes a second entry short. Now, when I saw this candle double bottom right here, it was making me think, well, it's still a bullish trend. It probably wants to test the high made in this, so it wants to break back into it. So I prepared for a second entry short failure, and it formed right on the EMA. So this is 
technically with second entry short forms. And I'm looking for the next candle here to show me some kind of signal that is going to go back up. So this is where I actually enter this blue arrow here on this candle. And you can see my entry is this tiny blue arrow here. And I entered right here. It's a little bit early, but I was anticipating since I, I think this, I took this closer to the end of this candle that it closed. And I was lucky that it like flashed down, <clears throat> moves up. And I just went for just a quick scalp. I was able to get it. There was enough room to the highs here. So that's where I kind of exited. You can see the red candle just exited right before the highs. So that's my first trade of the day. It turned out to be green. Press continue moving up. I draw and establish this channel because it touches three times. And right up here, it didn't touch on the top, but I'm looking for long. So it doesn't really concern me if it doesn't touch confirm here. I'm more interested in what happens down here. Certainly I do want it to confirm at the top. It just makes me feel more confident. Then it breaks through, so I don't see any kind of setup. Prices continue moving down. I draw this channel. At one time, I actually had it a little bit more narrow because I thought maybe it's something like this. But then it broke out and made a new low and just kept going. So I kind of decided to look for a larger downward channel. And I had one here, confirmation once, twice. And it broke out, so I'm looking for another test of a low, potentially. At this point, I had a preliminary line drawn from this touch to this touch, and it is confirming a third time here, but I'm not giving it too much weight yet because I'm not 100% sure it's valid. It is a third touch, and it kind of broke through. It isn't the cleanest setup yet to make me feel warm and fuzzy, but I do see a new low here. It makes the first entry short, comes up. This is a pretty decent candle if it's going to make a second entry short but it's pretty far from the EMA. And I, again, I'm not sure if it's gonna bounce off of this. So when I saw this, so technically it makes the second entry short, I'm watching carefully if there's gonna be a failure. It fails, it goes up and touches the EMA, but it's too late for me to try to enter on this trade because I waited for this entire candle to close. So technically this is second entry short here. And then the failed second entry short happens on this candle and it flashes up. So I felt like I already missed the trade because I'm coming up against the EMA. So I kind of left that trade alone. Now I wanted to see if a higher low would actually establish. And you don't get a higher low until about right here. But the higher low feels like it's too far from this failed second entry short now. So I decided to just let that one go. Prices continue chopping up. This is where I take my second trade. <clears throat> I see a new high here. I see a first entry long right here. And pulls back, and then it makes a second entry long here. Now, this is a very good signal bar because it's showing that it's respecting the EMA, and I decided to put my entry right here, one tick above here. So right here, I entered on this candle. It's a good signal bar. I'm pretty happy with it. It was enough for a quick scalp, and I changed. Uh, I'm trying to work on the strategy, just working on my quick scalps just to get used to this platform and also get a little bit better with my trading. So I was able to get out. It continues moving up. I draw this trend channel, but it doesn't seem that important after a while because it goes into this trading range and it continues moving up. I take my, so this is actually, <clears throat> excuse me, this is actually my third trade, but I actually entered a little early because it was a slip up that I wasn't ready to actually take. So it's actually a new high, first entry long, this is a second entry long, now, this second entry long is this signal bar technically is a, is a decent signal bar because it closed right at the top, but I wasn't ready. I wasn't ready to actually enter this trade. I wanted to wait for confirmation of the second entry long, but I dropped my order in. So I get filled right here. One tick, well, pretty much the same level as where this closed. Flashes down, takes me out. And the reason I didn't like it is because it felt too close. I felt like it could just be one leg pullback and then a second leg. So even though it technically went up here, I didn't really like it. I felt like it was a trap. But then when I saw this setup, now this is a really good signal bar. I like this candle a lot more. So I decided I wanted to redo the trade and I quickly jumped on or I got my trade ready for the next candle right here. So I entered one tick above and I like this setup a lot better because it's one leg down, pulls up, second leg down. Even though technically it made a second entry long here, I wasn't happy with this trade and I really wasn't planning on taking this trade. It just, I was playing with the platform and I, I goofed, but 
I, I'm going to keep it in my records as, you know, a trade. So this is a red trade. Immediately, I got this other trade jumped in. It moves up. I got my kind of trailed it up, let it run a little bit higher, and I got out way up here. So I was pretty happy with that setup. So that's my fourth trade because I saw it as a visual. First entry short, excuse me, first entry long, then a second entry long, even though technically the second entry long was made here. And then prices continue moving upwards. Well, I didn't mean to do that. There we go. Price continue moving upwards. I draw this trend channel, touches once, touches twice. I actually had the top of this actually a little bit lower. And then I eventually dragged it up here because I like the two confirmations up here. Otherwise, it would have had overshoot twice, which I didn't really like. And I took my fifth trade here. <clears throat> I saw a new high here, first entry long. And then this comes down. Now, I'll admit that this second entry long isn't the cleanest. I didn't really think it was the best because it's a bad signal bar, but the trigger bar was strong, which was this guy. And I thought this was kind of a little bit of aggressive trade, but I saw that it was bouncing off of this trend channel. And I remember from yesterday, yesterday was a very, very strong, well, I'm actually recording this a day late. So actually the day before was actually a very strong trend going up. And I remember seeing that and I figured today might be shaping up similarly. So I didn't want to miss out on this potential trade. So I went ahead and jumped on after this signal bar right here, right at where it closed. Technically one tick above this bearish signal bar, I was able to get in and I got filled for another quick scalp. So again, I'm just working on my scalps of just like pretty much a conservative one point, unless I feel like there's a lot more to give. I'm just working off of one point profits right now. Because it also bounced off the bottom of this ascending trend channel, even though I wasn't 100% sure because it technically is confirmed right here. It was a little early, but I felt like I, it was a risk I was willing to take. And granted, I, you know, I, I don't know if it was the best trade or the best setup, but I ended up taking it. I hope it doesn't develop into a bad habit. <clears throat> and so prices continue moving, goes up. It confirms a fourth time, so I'm pretty confident that this is the channel moving upwards now. I do see a possible trade here because it's a new high here, first entry long. Right here, the first entry long is made here, and it's the second entry long. This is a pretty decent signal bar. Now, I thought, like, if I didn't like, let me just zoom in, if I didn't like this setup, then I'd wait for a lower high. So if I had waited, then I do get a lower high right here. Also, if you notice, it is a failed second entry short. So it'd be from here, new high, first entry long, second entry long made right here. And then it's also a new low here, first entry short, second entry short. So it's technically a second entry short. It hasn't failed yet, but it's a potential second entry short failure. This could be considered a higher low. So this is actually a relatively decent setup. I don't think I would. I'm not sure if I would have taken it because one drawback is it's near the high, the localized high, but it's a very strong bullish trend. So it might be safe to have taken. But uh, I think for my experience level, I was just a little hesitant because it just kind of recently broke the high right here for me to feel confident taking the trade. In hindsight, it would have worked out. You know, if this had maybe come down and touched the EMA, then I know, you know, the EMA is supporting. I probably would have felt a little bit more confident, but I wasn't sure what I was looking at believe it yet so then prices continue moving up i see another setup here and i think this is a new high here first entry long second entry long this isn't a very good signal bar but it looked like it would have worked <clears throat> and also it is bouncing off the ema right here so uh, maybe with more experience seeing it more time seeing this particular characteristic of the day i might take that trade in the future and i do see a double top right here Forming right here. And I do see a new low here, first entry short, second entry short, a failed second entry short, also potentially a higher low to this second entry long. The problem is, again, it's already getting pretty close to the high. So I felt like if I try to enter here, I'd be buying at the high. So I decided to just, you know, leave it alone. <clears throat> then prices continue moving. It kind of starts breaking out of this channel and it makes two legs down. 
So I did see this new low here. First entry short is made here. Then this double bottoms here. It doesn't make a second entry short again till right here. Now, what I noticed, and I don't know if I'm reading this correctly, it makes a first entry short. And then technically, when it makes this second entry short, it comes right here. I think it was a hidden second entry short because what happens is it makes a new low here. This candle spikes above this guy and then comes right back down. So I think it was like a visual or hidden, if you will. First entry short pulls up a second entry short. But I also saw it as a new high here. Actually, new high here. First entry long, second entry long. And then the second entry long here, when it's made, immediately kind of comes down and fails. So actually, it should be positioned right there. And I saw this, but I wasn't sure I was reading everything correctly. I thought I was, but I just thought I'll just sit back, you know, see this see this set up a few more times before I actually take it. But it turns out, it, I think my intuition was correct. It came back down. Now, it also broke out of this ascending channel, broke out the first time, tried to make one new high. Technically, it tried to make a second high right here. But again, I wasn't experienced enough to see it. So I just kind of left it alone. Then I also saw this, when it came all the way down here, I saw this is potentially a one leg down, pulls up a second leg down. So this is kind of like a visual second entry long. And I had this channel actually a little bit higher up here at one time. So I treated this as maybe a fail breakout, but then I thought maybe this is also a fail breakout before I eventually dragged it down to here. So at the time I thought maybe this is a fail breakout, but it had two clear legs down and it's bouncing off maybe this larger trend channel. This is after the fact when I was looking at it and thinking about it, maybe it was like actually up here, maybe it was a bounce, but there was no clear bounce here. So it was no triple test. So I saw that and I, I thought about it. I don't think it really was worthwhile trade. Turns out if I took it, it would have worked. But I'm okay because I didn't believe the setup enough with my experience level. Prices continue chopping around. Finally breaks out the bottom of this trading range, which I kind of felt a little more confident this would be the triple test. Touch once, touch twice, touch three times. But again, I didn't see any trades. When it came down to here and it bounced up, I saw I also drew this descending channel. And I saw, okay, well, maybe there's a new high here, first entry long, second entry long, because this because if you count it from here, it'd be like first entry long, second entry long, maybe on a visual, the count resets here in my mind. And it goes like first entry long, second entry long, probably counts resets here, first entry long, second entry long. Anyways, it's all the way coming back down. I thought I potentially I saw a second entry long, but with all these you know subsequent second entry longs, I kept failing. I just didn't quite believe it enough that I wanted to see a lower, excuse me, a higher low, which I get a higher low right here. Now, if you recall, I had drawn this bottom support and it confirmed three times and technically it confirmed, confirmed the fourth time here. And this could be considered a fail breakout of this trend channel. So I saw it, I didn't quite believe it. I wanna see a higher low and I get it right here. So I think this was a possible trade, higher low here because it closed above the EMA. And at the time, I don't know if more experience, I think I might've taken it as you see this, it creates a higher low double bottom here. It's breaking above the EMA. It's the first time break of this. So technically you might wanna look for another move down, but in the overall context, it's a very, very bullish day. So, you know, even though this channel is working its way down, there is maybe a dominating effect from this channel and overall characteristic profile of the market moving up. So maybe that would have been a worthwhile trade, maybe more aggressive, and I didn't feel aggressive enough to try to take that trade. Ends up it would have worked. And I think that was the last serious setup that I had looked at because everything else turned out to just be like first entries. Technically, there's a second entry long right here, but this is a terrible signal bar. So I left it alone. It's also getting close to the end of the day. It's already close to 1230. And then the market just continues chopping around until the close. And so, yeah, that's pretty much how I saw the market today. So hopefully that was helpful. It's helpful for me to review and kind of sort through my mind of what I was thinking.